Welcome to Nectanese Podcast. This podcast covers the most relevant topics regarding macOS and iOS. The goal of our show is to describe our listeners how to keep their smart devices always fast, clean and free of junk. Every application on MacBook, as well as every action you make, creates cache files in your system that are stored on your disk until you decide to remove them. In this podcast, we will explain why you should clear your cache, and we will show the quickest way to clear the cache on a MacBook. So what is the cache? Cache files are temporary files that are stored on your computer's disk and may be reused when needed in order to provide faster and more efficient performance. There are different categories of cache files – browser cache, system cache and user cache. For instance, when you visit a website, the downloaded multimedia content such as images and video is automatically stored on your Mac. Consequently, the next time you visit the website, the cached content is reused for faster performance. A similar process occurs when you use software on macOS. Some temporary files are stored on the disk and reused to provide proper function. Cache files are helpful temporary files. However, over time they can be unnecessary and may take up too much disk space. Therefore, you should periodically clear the cache on your MacBook to keep your system running optimally. We will share two methods on how to clear them – manually and via special Mac cleaning software. Depending on how much you use your browser, you can clear up to hundreds of megabytes of time-expired cache files on your MacBook Air. To clear Safari's cache on MacBook, follow these steps. Open the Safari browser, select Preferences in the Safari menu, in the Advanced section enable the option Show Develop menu in the menu bar. Go to the Safari menu, select Develop and select Empty Caches. After this, close the Safari browser to finish the cache clearing. If you use one of the most popular browsers, Chrome, you can use these steps to clear its caches. Open the Chrome browser, in the Chrome menu select Preferences and click Privacy and Security on the sidebar. Click Clear Browser Data, then check the type of data you want to clear and choose the time range. Finally, click the Clear Data button. If you use Firefox, use the following steps to clear caches. Open the Firefox browser, go to the Firefox menu and select Preferences. Click Privacy and Security on the sidebar, then scroll down and find the Cookies and Site Data section. Click on the Clear Data button and confirm clearing the Firefox cache files. Every browser provides the option to clear its cache data. Things change when it comes to other applications' caches and system caches. System caches are related to the daily operations of your macOS. By default, Apple stores all cache files in the cache folder in the library. We will explain how to find this folder and clear the caches of particular applications here. So, to manually clear cache files on a MacBook, quit all running applications on your Mac. Then open Finder and go to the Finder menu. Select Go and choose Go to folder there. In the opened window, type tilde slash library slash caches and click Go. In the cache folder, find the folders related to a specific application and remove the files to trash. Please note that it is better to remove cache files in each folder rather than the cache folders themselves in order to avoid any errors. You should go to the folders one by one and remove caches of the appropriate applications. Also, you should be very careful not to remove system cache folders. If you are looking for the fastest and safest way to delete cache and other junk files on your MacBook, you can use a clearing utility from Nectany called MacCleaner Pro. MacCleaner Pro is an easy cache cleaner. The app allows you to complete a MacBook cache reset with just a few clicks. In addition to removing caches, it allows you to wipe out all other types of junk files from your Mac, 
such as language resources, logs, downloads, installation files, screenshots and other unnecessary items. MacLeaner Pro also helps to speed up Mac, optimize RAM usage and easily manage disk space. To clear caches with MacLeaner Pro, simply launch the app and go to the Clean up Mac section. Select the Cache Files category and click the Clean up button. Then confirm the removal of selected cache files. If you wish to clear the cache, for a specific web browser, switch to the Expert mode and click on the Cache category. Here you will see the list of cache files in more details. Select which cache files you want to remove and simply click to remove them. As you can see, with MacLeaner Pro it takes just a few minutes to remove caches. You can download a free trial of the software from the official Nectany website. Now you know how to effectively clear MacBook's cache files. Please note that you should be careful when manually deleting cache files. Otherwise, you may accidentally remove necessary files and functions. Also, the manual cache clearing of each app will take a significant amount of time. Alternatively, a quick and safe way to clear the cache is to use MacLeaner Pro. Its simplicity, user-friendly interface and efficiency make it the best Mac cleaning software among other applications for MacBook disk cleanup. Whichever path you choose, clearing unnecessary caches from your Mac will allow your device to operate efficiently and effectively.